hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Friday Night Show with Will. I'm Will, and uh, we're back for another week. And I have a guest tonight. Uh, hello, guest. How are you t- doing today? Oh. <laughs> Good. Hello. I'm Billy uh, from Bacchus Collectibles. Yes. Um, Will asked me to come on to talk about the thing. He's going to let us know what we're talking about. Yes, yes, indeed. Uh, we are talking about Transformers tonight because i felt like it i was actually really excited this was like a big like bombshell actually um because i did not know what was happening the other day was gonna happen at all until it happened yeah i was like (laughs) aghast (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah it was really silly i got on uh i was actually at like an art museum for like a field trip uh and i got onto twitter and just saw like omega prime and i was like what <laughs> yeah that, i mean that's kind of, that was kind of the, the same thing it just showed up on i think i saw the hasbro pulse instagram post and i'm like wait that looks like a new thing what <laughs> excuse me <laughs> yeah mind-blowing um, um yeah so if you're if you are unaware if, if you're just listening in tonight uh so hasbro announced that they are doing a HasLab for the robots in disguise 2001 optimus prime and ultra magnus and i just about like died when when i heard this um (laughs) i didn't think they would ever do it if i'm honest um same you know robots in disguise or car robots i guess in japan is just kind of one of those more niche series i guess um and so i don't know it just didn't seem like a thing they ever really cared about revisiting i haven't I mean, the most we we get, I think, is, ever is Skybite, because he's like the standout character from that show. But like, yeah, I think he won the award one year, like the Transformer Award, because uh, what's his name, the Raptor guy, won it also. This is like a fan favorite thing, so like, he just gets like reused a lot. Yeah, so. Yeah, so I mean, it, it, and like I've wanted this because this um, this Optimus is was the first Optimus I ever had. It isn't the first one I ever saw, but the first one I ever saw was Primal and Beast Wars. But um, this Optimus Prime was the very first Optimus Prime figure I had as a kit, and so I was like super stoked to hear about this. Yeah, I think I had. I think it was my first two. Besides, like obviously, like Beast Wars. Beast Wars is what got me into Transformers, actually, mm-hmm. uh, because you know there's that giant gap between like G1 and Beast Wars, and Beast Wars was when like you know, I was around the age to want to extend to stuff besides Power Rangers. Yeah. I mean, it was um, like transforming robots. So, I mean, it was pretty much in the ballpark. Yeah. <laughs> so just just another hyper fixation. Yeah, just another the, thing to obsess on the over. tech list. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I will say though, like I, I that Optimus though, I, I rebought it a couple years ago, uh, just because I have no idea where my childhood one is. It's maybe in a storage unit, but I honestly have no freaking clue where it possibly could be. Um. And so I rebought it because I, I found it um, at a local con for very cheap. And so I was and I was like, it looks like it has everything. I think it might just be missing his little like little small gun, um, but I didn't mm. I didn't care about that. Um, and you know, it's like for being as old as it is, it's like a twenty four year old figure. It's still really good. Yeah, I think the only problem people ever have are the tires. Yeah, uh, luckily the ones I uh, I got on mine seem to be in pretty good shape, so I guess it must have been kept somewhere safe, I guess, for a while, or stored away yeah. or something. Um, yeah, mine, I lost most of mine. <laughs> yeah. I lost all the, the old ones, just like, all the ball joints and stuff on those old figures allowed for 
parts to just come off. Yeah. If you're not paying attention. <laughs> no, yeah, like I have the Autobot brothers and a lot of them use like the the translucent plastic on like ball joints and stuff and it's just like whose idea <laughs> was this cuz this is a terrible idea. <laughs> like like Xpron is just always flopping everywhere. If I can get him to stand up straight, <laughs> it's a good day. Um But yeah, I don't know. It's just that e- that year between uh, Beast Machines and Armada, a year or so, how long, however long. Yeah, it was like a year or two, because they were just kind of like recycling G1 toys for a bit, just for funsies. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, G1 and then unused Predacons. Yeah. Put cool. them in an anime. Yeah, I mean, why not? Um yeah, I just remember that show being very fun, and um, one thing I was always disappointed with, and what I ended up discovering was a very common thing, was a lot of people not being able to get um, Magnus, Prime, or, or either um, back in the day. I guess they were like pretty hard to find, which I guess makes sense. It's kind of like the standout of that show. Um, mm-hmm. uh, like, I definitely didn't have Ultra Magnus. I definitely wanted Ultra Magnus, but... Um, <laughs> Uh, you know, that was just wasn't a thing. But I was perfectly content with Optimus, but that was definitely a thing I had I had been looking at like on eBay and stuff throughout the years and I'm just like, dang, these guys are a lot in the aftermarket. I don't know if I want them that badly. <laughs> um Yeah, the, um I I'm pretty sure the local or local I say it's like an hour away. Uh, <laughs> I didn't end up getting to go to see but last time i went they had scourge optimus and ultra magnus all around like 100 or so each and like in box still well um, i mean in box that's not bad <laughs> yeah, yeah so i i i've i trick strictly try to stay with like power rangers or sentai because if i go too far out i'm gonna spend a bunch of money oh, so i have to bait it when i see them and then just i'm i'm kind of happy that they did this because recently i've w- since with like since i am pr uh besides cosmic fury like adding posability to like the zords it's something that i like desire <laughs> no, yeah, <laughs> uh, whenever i'm looking into something um I don't even like pose them like that much in my pictures or anything, but like, <laughs> I mean, just having it's just I nice to have. Yeah, it's nice to have, and I think also it's like we haven't had it before, so it's like we're kind of conditioned to like not think about posing them in any special kind of way. Um, yeah, but I I think just having those options like just makes it so much more enjoyable. Um, and I don't know, man, um, looking at this, um, it, it just seems like the perfect, <laughs> like, HasLab type of thing. Um, you know, I, I, I was, like, loosely, like, s- just kind of dipping in, like, dipping my toe into the conversation that was going on with these things. And, you know, just reading some mm-hmm. comments, which is, you know, nine times out of ten, it's never a good idea. But, you know, do it anyway. Um and you know some you know there's those comments where it's like well who asked for this or um what's the difference between this and the original and blah 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 but like if you it, and those are the kind of like just like knee jerk reactions and I'm just like wow okay so it isn't just the Power Rangers fandom it's just every everywhere is like this um, yes <laughs> this is just the world we live in um, but you know when I was like looking at it more and thinking about it more, it's just like no, they they really re-engineered a, a lot of like how this toy functions, and like really made it like the best it can be for a transformer like nowadays, because like they had really good bones to work with. It was all just a matter of like fine tuning stuff basically, and it also helped. They I guess they had the original designer of the original. Yeah, I was about to just say that. The original guy that uh, worked on uh, the Optimus, Which, and obviously probably uh, Magnus, but yeah. Which is insane, considering like Hasbro can't even keep an employee <laughs> for longer than six months. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Um, that's Takara for you. Yeah, well, yeah, obvi- yeah, that's Takara. So Takara's a little bit more, I guess, I, I don't want to say loyal because it's still a corporation. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but um, it, it is cool, though, the... the um, they, like, gave him the idea, and, like, I guess his first thing was, all right, we're turning Magnus's gun into another another figure. Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, that live stream was actually, like, really fun. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's really nice uh, when everyone's, you know, really likes the thing that they're working on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was my first reaction. I was just, like, Power Rangers could have had, like, so many cool, like, HasLab concepts, but... Come on, guys, let's get to Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. 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 Our Ghostbusters with their third backpack. Yeah, yeah, because we need more of those, right? For Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> then again, I, I, then again, I don't know. I've never seen Ghostbusters, so... <laughs> right. It's gonna flame me in the comments now for that, and it's like, what do you mean you've never seen Ghostbusters? <laughs> let them flame you because i don't understand it at all <laughs> I, 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 I don't never, think I, there's like new content or anything for it it's just well it's like yeah. they're in the middle like they're getting ready to have one like a new movie i think uh, in a few months but it's just like for uh, the proton pack that they're gonna make in 20 years yeah I, I, don't, I, I don't know. Whatever. Ghostbusters is whack. Anyway, we're talking about Transformers, which is way cool. Yeah. Back, <laughs> back to the comments uh, about this. I saw someone uh, like very aggravated about this uh, like price point. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, and like, I understand. When I first saw it, I was just like, yeah. whoa. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is a lot. Uh, but with the current, it, it's... It's interesting because, like, compare it to, uh, like, as a whole, like, Omega Prime, like, all together, uh, like, their Titans are at, like, 190 or 200, I think. Yeah. And, and, but, like, they were comparing that to this, and they were, like, just how much plastic, and it's, like, I understand the plastic thing, but, like, this thing does more than those Titans can do because of the size. Right. Uh, And I think you gotta like wave playability and you know size too and it's pretty big like it's a head taller than the original which was already huge yeah uh compared to like nowadays transformers anyways <laughs> no yeah i mean like the <laughs> fact that anything is is bigger than like it's a original counterpart and a transformers thing is honestly impressive because like transformers yeah. are getting smaller the past like decade yeah, like commander size is like original like leader size from like Armada. Like mm-hmm. <laughs> No, yeah, like I, I I see some Voyagers now and I'm just like, are you sure this isn't like a deluxe or something? Are you really sure? Yeah. <laughs> it's just a deluxe with a, a backpack. Or yeah, so Voyagers are closer to deluxe and then leaders are like a Voyager with like an accessory. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of like being bigger than, than like you know a leader compared to the grunts or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I I guess yeah. they're trying to be better about scaling, but it's just like, it's, yeah. still it's it's kind of weird. But um, what's your what's your favorite part of the of the whole set? If if you had to pick like one part to of to like. If you were just to like look at all three pieces, which is like the part that you're most excited about? A hundred percent, the Optimus Prime. No, that's fair. <laughs> uh, I, I like you know Ultra Magnus is blue, so I'm biased, but um, <laughs> uh, uh, just the Optimus Prime, like that super mode is like one of the best super modes ever that it was he's like had. The first like, time they did that, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was well. Besides in Japan, because like God Jinrai, uh, right. which is technically like an Optimus over here, yeah. but um, but yeah, the, like first super mode in like America, yeah, and just like the way, like the amount he changes, it's like Armada changes, but it's like you know, the top half onto like legs, which was the trailer, yeah, but like. This, like, gets armor and then, like, the new head sculpt. Uh, 
and like the it just completely changed the figure with like no, the yeah. it's like it's like two completely different character models yeah um and then like you just add omega like you make omega prime which like still like it like this the wheels on the knees but everything else is different yeah pretty much yeah that's kind of like the only element that carries over everything else is just like brand new yeah yeah and i mean like ultra magnus yeah i, I mean i'm gonna agree like uh, optimus is the thing i'm most excited yeah. about in this set uh magnus is just he's just like 60 percent legs you know yeah which they added <laughs> They added articulation to no, yeah, somehow. I mean, so. like they're they're definitely <laughs> yeah they're definitely doing a good job. And I I guess um is it blue bolt is what they're calling his weapon? Yeah, because yeah, so... uh, it the weapon was called blue bolt, and then they're like we're gonna make it a weaponizer. Oh okay. okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, but from what I understand, they're gonna use blue bolt to kind of like fill in the gaps, which which is cool. Like because that's like everybody's biggest critique with transformers nowadays is that like things are hollow. And, um, you know, you know, going back to the price point, you know, with, with it being a HasLab, they don't really have to worry about hollowing stuff out too much because it is Mm -hmm. just kind of like a made to order thing. And so like limited quantities. So that just kind of makes it easier. So they don't have to cut as many corners, um, as they typically would. Cause I, I saw some other stuff where it was, uh, some of the dudes from the live stream. I'm not familiar with their names, but they were just kind of explaining some of the processes that they were having, um, to go through. We're just trying to figure out the best way to release these if they were to do them. And they arrived at a has lab because like, if they were to do them at retail, all three would be separate releases. They would be scattered over like a few years at least. That would, just that that's the thing with uh stuff like this like obviously we're you know we're waiting a year to get it but like you you just want the whole thing like at 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 one time with this specifically because like it's that like you would get optimus first and like you know that would that would hold you over but then like to have to get blue bolt separately (laughs) Right. It was just like, why do I give a shit about (laughs) this little gun guy? (laughs) Who the hell is this? (laughs) Yeah, like, no, let's just not. And just get it all at once and, you know, bite the bullet. And, like, it's doing well to, like, I think it's on track to get the 10,000. Yeah, I mean, like, it's already Uh, over halfway after just a couple days, which is very promising. And honestly, the stretch, the the goal is honestly, I would say, kind of small. I think they kind of undershot how well this is going to perform, because I think within the next coming weeks, as more and more people find out about it, they'll be like, wait, what? They're doing what? Oh, okay, yeah, let let me sign up for this. Yeah, people finding out about it, or just, like, people debating... Uh, if they want to like go in on it or not, because uh, obviously it is a commitment. Like, right? <laughs> yeah. To just drop like almost three hundred dollars and not get anything until next year or like the end of, it'll probably be the end of this year that we'll get it. Uh, yeah. If it's the same as Death Saurus, uh, I think they only had a problem getting it to like UK people. Yeah, they have uh, problems in the UK. I'm not sure what their deal is. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's funny. I, I I collect Power Rangers, but I watch majority Transformers toy reviewers. <laughs> uh, that's fair. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, the, one of the ones that I watched just uh, got it. Rec- I got Death Source recently, and that thing. It's so I I have no connection to any of the victory stuff. Like I've never watched it mm-hmm. at all. I never will attempt to watch it because of how old it is. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like Star Saber and Death Saurus, like those are like some awesome toy designs. <laughs> no, I mean the thing with Transformers is like I could like never see the thing that a Transformer is from, but like just because of what it, what they are. I can just, like, see it and be like, I want that, because that looks, like, fun. Because, <laughs> like, a Transformer is just always going to be fun because of the Transformer yeah. element to me. Yeah, like, to me, it's kind of, like... Because especially, like, if I'm not familiar with, like, the character or anything or how the transformation works, it's just kind of like a little puzzle. 
Mm-hmm. But, it, but the puzzle is a cool robot you get to play with afterwards. <laughs> yeah. Especially, I guess, you know, that's probably just more ingrained in their, like, thing anyways. Because they don't always have a show or anything. Yeah. Like, to connect to. Like, right now there's no show, but they're just going in, like, backlogs and recreating characters. And then there's some characters that you don't even know. And it's just like, oh, like how this looks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. I mean, that's there was there was a phase I was going through. It was kind of like Combiner Wars was that kind of era mm-hmm. for me. It was just like, oh, they're just like taking a bunch of random people and like making them combiners. <laughs> okay, sign me up. <laughs> yeah, I'm very lucky. I was not collecting any type of toys during Combiner Wars because I would have I would have probably bought all those because you know the Power Rangers. <laughs> yeah. yeah um... Yeah, I've I've usually like stuck with Rangers, but you know, depending on the thing, um, especially more so now because there's not really anything else I'm actively looking for for Power Rangers. Yeah, um, there are like a, th- a few things I've like forgotten to buy because you know they were just kind of like the last few things, um, like you know the like the last wave of Lightning Collection figures and that type of stuff. But it's like, I'll get around to them mm-hmm. eventually. Uh, <laughs> they'll, they'll show up at Ross or that's whatever. That's kind of what I'm, like that's what I'm banking on. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, yeah. That's just kind of the reality I've accepted. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so the campaign ends in 41, or basically under 42 days. Um uh, so it's definitely going to get back. Yeah. I don't see it not. Um, the the unlockables, though, or the stretch goals, um, you get the Matrix Blade. That's like two times its height. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and it's already like a 13-inch toy. Right. It's just <laughs> like, okay, cool. Let me get this giant two-foot <laughs> accessory. <laughs> 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 and then um i like the because you know display stands have been like with the last uh all all of them have had a display stand um but i like the idea that they went with like the uh the the highway or the, the space the, bridge the, yeah the space bridge yeah. uh that's really cool yeah yeah so, that's, like that's super cool especially for like photography of them like putting the trucks on like the combined ones right (laughs) yeah i'm not Uh, sure how they work if i'm honest like they showed me that and i'm just like i know you have the gray models and everything and like they can't like lock in properly but can you explain to me how the fuck this is going on that stand (laughs) (laughs) it's just lock in and then it yeah there's gonna be a plug i assume on the back of the the yeah, it's bots like on the undercarriage maybe somewhere yeah i don't know i don't uh, yeah somewhere. That, that was that was my only thing i was just like okay cool stand so it'll help it stay stable on a shelf that's all that oh, yeah. i mean that's that's perfectly fine <laughs> if it's holding the two foot freaking sword i sure hope it has something to help it yeah stand. <laughs> yes <laughs> um uh I'm wondering if they have any, like, other surprises if it goes past the second tier. I hope so. I don't know what the... Or a lot of people are wanting uh, I, AI, Ty? Uh, the oh, girl? Yeah, the girl. girl uh, yeah. Hell trans daughter or whatever. <laughs> is that what... Uh, that was? Yeah. That, yeah, that's yeah. Cool. Well, that's what the American one was. I don't think it was that in Car Robots, but... Yeah, the girl. I I think that they want like something to represent her for it. I guess so. that would be fine. I I was like kind of thinking. Yeah. I'm like it would probably be one of the human characters. Yeah, that's, that's kind of usually what they do. <laughs> yeah, because um, the stretch goals. I th- <laughs> I think you got like little tiny figures of like Rodimus and. Uh, Galvatron uh with Unicron and then the the uh, the two um Star Saber and Deathsaurus got like uh not mini cons but like the target masters or whatever. The little mini bots. Oh right, right, right. Uh 
but I don't know what tier those were, so I didn't look. But maybe it's just on here. Uh, but any, I mean, anything would be cool, I guess. Yeah, honestly, uh, it's just kind of like one of those things where it's like the more they put in, the more worth it the set is for me. <laughs> yeah, same. I specifically just hope we get to 13,000 because I think the sword is going to be so silly. Like, yeah, the sword's going to be ridiculous. <laughs> I honestly really want that. <laughs> but if we get the sword, I need the stand. I'm sorry. I just yeah. need the stand. Like, <laughs> that, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> because, because, like, I can look at a lightning collection figure or a transformer weird sometimes and it'll just, like, fall. And it's been sitting on yes. a shelf stable for months by itself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, so Unicron. I, I guess it was more expensive, but Unicron had eight thousand uh, as their goal and had ten thousand backers. Wow. Uh, so they not have low not stretch, a lot stretch goals. Yeah, yeah Unicron well, was, Unicron was Unicron was like four hundred dollar. Yeah, five hundred or whatever. So yeah, yeah, he was a lot, and that thing <laughs> yeah. was huge. That thing was gigantic. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, Victory Saber had a target of eleven thousand. It had twenty six thousand backers. Oh damn! People really wanted that one. <laughs> Goddamn. <laughs> yes. It, I'm still debating on picking that thing up. My friend has it, and I'm gonna ask him if I can like borrow it to like play with. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but to um, so get it out of my system, so I don't spend like three hundred dollars for no reason. Right. Uh. Their their stretch goals uh, for Victory Saber was so the start was eleven right yeah eleven thousand and then at fourteen thousand is they got a gun <laughs> <laughs> and then seventeen thousand was the stand and then at twenty thousand was a shield and the two mini bots. Okay. So, and that one looks fully rendered compared to the gray one. So that might have been like, uh, oh, we got to throw something else in. Right. And then Death Source was also 11,000 and got 27,000 backers. That's insane. Uh, so, yeah. We'll see how it co- goes in the coming weeks. Yeah. Uh, I did, I did re rewatch uh, like Omega Prime's like debut today because uh-huh. <laughs> I was I was curious. Um, I feel like I know why R.I.D. was so liked by like a few of us. It like watching it, it gave me like ma- major Digimon like season one and two vibes. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it was a, it was a Saban dub, so yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like the animation style too. It was just like all that and then uh, like obviously like omega prime's like a dna digivolution so <laughs> yeah pretty much <laughs> but it gave me some laughs because yeah that show was silly it did not uh, like uh yeah so good <laughs> yeah. no yeah i'm i'm so stoked about this and i'm really excited for I guess, like, what it means for just, like, the rest of the Robots in Disguise uh, stuff. Because it looks like they're willing to do more. Um, you know, they, they already kind of, like, started dipping their toes in with that... Um, there's that one Target exclusive. like this that neon green dude. Um, it just came out, like... Probably, like, summer of last year. It was a <laughs> deluxe class. Um, um, what the frick is Neon... That? Me? Yeah, let me see. All right. Well, they did Scourge. Yeah, they did Scourge, and that one's really good. Um, I don't think the scale is going to hold up when this figure comes out. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so if they could like do a slightly bigger Scourge, that'd be kind of neat. Uh, <laughs> but, but they probably won't, because uh, <laughs> because that one went to Ross pretty quickly. But um, yeah, I was hoping I could find it. Um, yeah, I don't know the green guy. It said it's Target exclusive. Oh, it's the Toe Line. Toe Line. There you go. 
<laughs> that that one toe line was one of the, like that was one of those like flip changers. Okay. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah like it, it. It was in the same like style as the the like Beast Wars, uh, Bat Optimus, and Alligator Megatron, but a car or a truck instead. Yeah. Uh, this one is just like a parts <laughs> former instead <laughs> because it just like yeah, scatters into pieces. <laughs> Yeah, they took a, a junkie on mold and made him. I'm going to need that so I can armor up the Optimus. You know what? That's <laughs> fair. I might need to pick that up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, so when uh, War for Cybertron came out, like the the Siege uh, line, yeah, like that was before Legacy, uh, I got into that because uh, of the like the weaponizer guys, yeah. Uh, but specifically, because like of all the different like cool combinations you could do. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I watched the uh, the Netflix show, and it was not good. So it really wasn't. <laughs> I I was so upset watching that show. I'm like, how is this so boring? How is this it was trying the most to appeal thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it took itself too serious and was trying to appeal to those Transformer fans. Like don't don't they know like that's never the move. It's never the move. <laughs> like it, that's never, never. The move. It didn't work out with the Justice League. It didn't work out with this quit trying to do that it never works the people don't show yeah. up <laughs> they show up like That's five true. years later so they can be like oh this was so underrated at the time no one understands it <laughs> well it's the reason why people like uh like r.i.d or like uh armada versus through uh the unicron trilogy yeah uh but then like specifically like animated and prime like those shows that were like like Prime was kind of you know, the tone was always dark, but it was a good story right. uh, compared to trying to just retell the same Cybertron backlog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot of the story. The thing about Transformers is a lot of the stories can feel kind of samey, and that's just kind of a thing <laughs> that happens when you reuse the same characters all the time. Uh, yes, especially like the past ten years, they they really like Optimus and Bumblebee. Um, I mean, Optimus is always going to be there, but, like, especially Bumblebee. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Those dang movies. <laughs> Those dang movies, man. It's like, they're, they're yeah. try- I think they're trying to break away from that, though. I think Mirage is going to be their new mascot, provided Pete Davidson doesn't get into any trouble. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, Rise of the Beast was a great movie. It was uh, so good. Uh, there were a few people I saw that said they couldn't stand it. I'm just like, this was like the most fun I've had was... in a Transformers movie in forever. Yeah. Like, Bumblebee and that need more movies like that. Like, I'm happy they've moved past Michael Bay, finally. <laughs> no, yeah, it really took them a, a hot minute, but they, they got there. They got there. They're, get, they're getting better. My biggest critique of those movies is, like, the, the Maximals weren't transformed enough. I'm, yeah i'm just like why are they in beast mode the whole time i, I get their animals uh, but they're also Tybertronians. get, get them in their robot and, mode <laughs> and rhinox didn't talk no at all word. not a word just just a rhino <laughs> yep. he's just sort of he's just a rhino doing rhino things yeah um uh, yeah that movie very good uh it's very like it's interesting because like Transformers doesn't have like no wait cyber is it cyberverse cyberverse no what's the current Earth Spark Earth that's Spark, the current yeah. show yeah that's like the yeah show. I was like what's... yeah the current kitty show is mm-hmm. how they'd say it um but it's like doing like cool things and, like making trans like you know those Transformer fans mad yeah. I mean, th- there was a there was a character that used they them and yeah, they're like what? What <laughs> this robot is is going by they them pronouns? What? <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> Why are we not calling it a he him? <laughs> oh, <whoa. laughs> Why are these robots? <laughs> 
<laughs> Seeing <laughs> that like blew my mind. It's, um, it's just like you don't even understand what you're saying. <laughs> it's like what the fuck. Hello. <laughs> uh, one one complaint I saw. I watched like a, a video or listened to a a, a video. Uh, this person complaining about uh, with the right with the Omega Prime mm-hmm. that it's it's the Transformers 40 year anniversary. Why are we not getting a G1 thing and it's like well th- how many G1 things are there Have they did them all paid attention to the toy line <laughs> like every year every year without Look. fail there is some G1 thing in this toy line without like what fail. else could they do yeah they um, they've remade all the original transformers all of them they re-released them they re they redid them. They did masterpiece versions of them. <laughs> they just retooled them for the current toy line just for fun. <laughs> it's uh yeah, it was mind blowing hearing that because he was just like, why why are we focusing on this? And in the stream, they literally say it's the middle. <laughs> it really it, it is. It's right in the middle of the franchise. And it's just like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> they said it in this. Uh, I felt like you didn't even watch the stream because, no, like I you said, uh, you don't. saw, yeah, you saw people complaining. Like, is it even bigger than the original? And it was like in the stream, they have <laughs> the gray, <Right. laughs> the gray model with the original. Like the guy brought his. <laughs> It's, it's so silly. It's so silly because like those arguments, uh, like just being in the Power Rangers fandom, those the arguments are the yes. same. The only the only thing that's different is the content that we're talking about, but the arguments are all the same. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and it's like no one ever watching anything, but still like finding a reason to complain about it. We just saw a thing. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. like I I like I like try and think about that in like Power Rangers context. I'm like, so what what would be like the halfway point for Rangers? And I'm like, that'd probably be Overdrive. Yeah, overdrive, overdrive, so or, overdrive or Jungle Fury, maybe. And yeah. so it just, I'm just like trying to imagine and, that conversation. And it's like a 20 year old being upset about something like that. And it's just like, that doesn't make any sense. Cause like, yeah, and like Overdrive, like if they just decided, like, yeah, we're going to celebrate the 30 year anniversary, here's the Drive Max Megazord. It would be confusing. But it would also be cool because that Megazord's cool. I would, I would not be upset. <laughs> and I would be excited. Yeah. Because <laughs> I would want that Megazord. And like, it's, yeah, it's one of the seasons that people like auto hate. And then it's like, well, they had cool stuff going on. You right. just have to appreciate the other stuff, too. And it's a milestone season, guys. It was 15. Sorry. Yeah. It's, it, had, it had the cool team up. It had the cool team up. You can't take that away from it. <laughs> yeah, Lightning Collection five pack with that team up. Like, who would complain? <laughs> everybody, everybody, because would. it's not completing a team, right? It's, not completing a team. <laughs> it's another. It's, it's another MMPR. <laughs> it's another. Yeah, it's another MMPR. <laughs> even though it's Adam. <laughs> yeah, and like that would have like the vest, which would be cool. So it'd be amazing. That's that's all I yeah, that's, that, that's all I ever want. Hasbro, get on it. Right. Yeah, get back to that in like five years when you pick up Rangers again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when you're when you're celebrating the thirty fifth anniversary. <laughs> oh my god. We're gonna wait till forty uh, fifth so we can adapt Zinkaiger. I I would I would leave the internet. I would never come back. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta match the 45 on the helmet they can't just make a new helmet no absolutely not yeah. <laughs> like, uh, they can't say the helmet means something else <laughs> nope. we can't ex- we can't write around a number what- whatever's <laughs> in the footage is law <laughs> we can't write around even though explanations <laughs> even though technically cause Zoo Ranger was the 16th yeah, 16, yeah. so it could yeah, so they could have made it this year, it, it, since all the fifteen previous Sentai teams are technically canon because of the legendary battle. 
It, yeah, that's true. That's yeah. It would it would have been forty five. Yeah, <laughs> easy explainer. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah, it's uh, it's exciting for the uh, for the RID stuff. Yeah, because like I said, yeah. I mean, I'm curious how many parts of those toys I have in my bins. Right, just kind of chilling. <laughs> I ahead. have the Optimus Prime, like the like the body. Right. <laughs> I think he's missing his hands, but. Oh God! You cut off his hands. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe a foot. Well, they're all in ball joints. They just oh, fall yeah. off. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> um. I know they're at least they could be working on one of the Autobot brothers, because um, someone pointed out a figure that's out currently. It's like a Cyberverse character, but mm. the mold could very easily be retooled to look like um, Hot Rod, Hot Shot, Hot Shot. Hot Shot, yeah. Um... So I'm like, uh, there's one that looks like, um, I think the cop car. No, not the cop car. The, the blue one. Is that hot shot? That's hot shot. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, Sideburn. Sideburn. That's not hot shot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hot shot. Sideburn. (laughs) X-Bone. Yeah. Yeah, Hot shots. Armada. Yeah. Uh, but no, there is a there's like they call them pre tools, I think. But there's one that looks like him, like in the in either like one of the siege lines or like legacy early legacy uh, that they were talking about. Or like I've seen people like, oh, this could work for RID. Uh, him. <laughs> yeah, there's one that um, that was part of the Velocitron 500 line. It was like a subline, I guess. And I kept mm-hmm. thinking it was Prowl because they packed those in vehicle mode. Uh, so I would look at it. I was like, oh, I thought I thought that was Prowl. I thought they did that because, you know, they they had already like started dipping their their feet into R.I.D. And I was like, oh, no, it's not. And then when I turn and look on the back at the robot mode, I'm like, oh, yeah, that transformation wouldn't even work. So never mind. He can't even be retooled into Prowl. <laughs> because <laughs> it would be like because it, it was like the the front half of the car like folds down onto the chest and i'm just like oh no oh, yeah, that's maybe. that's not how he that's not how prowl looks <laughs> they aren't gonna work that hard they're gonna try uh, yes. they're gonna try pulling a fast one like that so and then x have fun with that because i haven't seen a transformer look like that in a hot minute <laughs> <laughs> That that arm, <laughs> that arm, man, is just like let's just get the quarter, <laughs> the first quarter of this robot of this vehicle. It's just gonna be hanging off his arm. <laughs> yeah, they'll definitely uh, pull some, probably pull some tricks for that one. Yeah, they're, they're gonna I don't know find I... some clever way around that because that's definitely not gonna be solid. It's gonna be some hollow piece of some kind, but. Um... I mean, wh- whatever. I'm going to be excited either way. Like, um, yeah. this this just all looks, like, super promising. I need to figure out how I'm paying for this. I haven't figured that part out yet, but... <laughs> I'm sure we can figure something out by by March 15th. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, I'm sure I can change my account information by then. Uh, <laughs> 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 but... Yeah, uh... They did mention the that Ultra Magnus can very specifically hold three cars, just they like did. the show. They mentioned that, <laughs> and they, they were really like making a big thing about scale and stuff, and they're just like, "All right, cool. That that I better be able to fit all three Autobot brothers in there, no problem. No one's hanging off. No one's yep. doing anything. No funny business. All right, they're all on there and they're getting carried. No one's falling off. And uh." Just release them at least all either all at the same time or every like three months leading up to the release. Yeah, I think they could. <laughs> I, I think though they could do all three in a year, no problem. 
Yeah. Because they can. Because honestly, deluxe ways are actually pretty. They go pretty quickly, I think. All things considered. Yeah, I'll I'll occasionally go into the Walmart that's by my job and just like look uh, at the shelves to see what they have, and I'm just like, oh, this is. I didn't even know this was out yet. <laughs> right. It was just like, yeah, I was like, oh, this is fun. <laughs> it's just like a random G2 repaint or something. I was just like, all right. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Never pick those up, but I mean, <clears throat> they're always there. I'm like, yep, G2 is a very specific Transformers fan, and I am not one of those people. <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, it's always the sound waves that almost get me, because I just like the... the uh the tape decks and yeah or just any type of thing like because they had the bumblebee one and then like uh ravage just like curls up into like a ball thing that like fits in them i was like that's just satisfying (laughs) tell you man transformers are just always fun regardless yeah no matter what (laughs) so yes well all that to say you guys um if you are um, excited, uh, as excited as we are, um, you should you should back this this Haslab because this is gonna be really cool. Um, I think this is gonna be really worth it for the money. It's a lot. It's a fucking lot. I really think Hasbro Pulse really needs to start learning what Afterpay is. So I I think that would help get these Haslabs off the ground quicker um, if they got on that. <laughs> because, yeah well they they have the pay in four if you like regular checkout yeah but yeah i don't I, I think it's because they need to make sure that they can charge it when it happens and not like say hey pay yeah that's fair yeah that they get their money immediately um yeah because you know they ain't gonna play around with that because they're hasbro uh, <laughs> And the, honestly, they kind of need the help at the moment. Uh, yes. <laughs> well, they don't need it. They need to not pay their CEOs ridiculous bonuses and lay off a bunch of people that are essential to keeping their business running. But that's a conversation yes. for a different day. <laughs> that's a conversation for a different day. But um, yeah, um, if you have not backed it yet, go back it. You have 45 days from the time of this recording to do that. Um, but yeah. Are you gonna review it when you uh, when you get yours? Uh, yeah, it'll probably be the first and only Transformer I review on my channel. That's perfectly <laughs> fine. <laughs> That's perfectly fine. <laughs> that kind of like helps off the. It helps justify it, you know. Yeah, if you're just like, hey, look, there's a review for my channel. It's content. <laughs> There'll be a review and then pictures and everything. Fantastic. <laughs> well, if you guys want to just eagerly await Billy's one and only Transformers review, uh, you can go to his YouTube channel, which is at Baca's Collectibles, which I have right here on the, if you're watching the video of this podcast, it's right there on his name tag. And then I will also leave a link to his channel in the description um, of wherever you're finding this episode. So whether it's here or on Spotify or Apple Podcasts or google docs i don't know how i don't know how you're finding these things <laughs> transcribe carrier pigeon yeah exactly an ai somehow told you about this i don't know but uh <laughs> i'm gonna leave uh links to all of billy's uh social media stuff so that way you guys can go ahead and follow him uh if you're new to checking out the show um i'm trying to do this every week it comes out on fridays that much i can say for certain uh <laughs> whether it's every week that's anybody's guess uh but if you would like to know when these episodes come out you can subscribe to the channel and i only said that because i guess youtube does a thing now where if you say subscribe the button glows and i did not know oh that. yeah that's cool subscribe yeah, yeah so subscribe <laughs> and like the video because uh, i guess like um does a thing too so um yeah like this uh Rate it on Spotify and all those other places. And um, yeah, I guess we're going to wrap it up here. Thanks for tuning in tonight, you guys. And thank you, Billy, for joining me and talking about Transformers. <laughs> so we could like... No uh, problem. ...about something a little different <laughs> for once. <laughs> and Thanks uh, for having me. 
Yes. And I will see you guys next time for another Friday Night Chill.